Many content creators have been freaking out about whether the copper rule applies to their channel. So the FTC has released new information to help channel owners determine if their content is directed at children or not. As a recap, it's been alleged that when children under the age of 13 were using YouTube and Google, these companies were illegally collecting personal information, mostly through means of internet cookies, website trackers, etc., without parents' consent. So a complaint was filed against YouTube and Google, and since they were operating as a commercial platform for online services, they violated the copper rule. In addition to the penalty paid and as part of the settlement, YouTube agreed to roll out a number of changes to comply with COPPA. The biggest change affecting all channel owners to now disclose whether they are publishing content that is intended to be watched by kids aged 13 and under. Now for some it's as clear as black and white, but what about those in between that are making content for a wider audience but still may be watched by kids? YouTube hasn't really given a third option to select and this leaves many creators in fear of selecting no and then being slapped with a violation penalty. So the FTC has issued a little bit more guidance on how to decide whether your video is made for kids or not. So how do you know whether your video is made for kids or not? Well, according to FTC's guidance, children are your primary audience, so you've created content specifically for them based on a number of factors. Or children can become an audience also based on the same factors. What is the subject matter of the video? Is it a beauty tutorial, for example, or a technology review? Who are your intended audience? Are you using any child actors or models? Does it contain characters, celebrities, animation or toys that would appeal to younger kids? What kind of music have you used? Are you using preschool nursery rhymes? What about the language and the tone used? Are you using simple words and phrases so a child would easily understand? Are you placing adverts on your channel that would appeal to young kids like toys and games? Have you checked for all competent, reliable experiences with or observations about your audience? However, the FTC has stated that just because your video has bright colours or animated characters doesn't mean you're automatically covered by copper. So in other words, what the FTC is saying is just because you have an element from this list of factors, it doesn't necessarily mean your video will be considered made for kids. If there is a child in the video, it could, for example, be a medical video discussing signs and symptoms of a child's sickness or disease. A child may appear in a kid's recipe video, either to assist with the cooking or simply model eating the food. An animation appeals to everyone, so there may be an informative video, perhaps about first aid, simply presented in an animated format. A video made for the general audience may be watched by a child, say for example a family vlog that likes to document a variety of things from traveling to daily routines. Now, if however the family visited Disneyland and shifted the focus onto the theme park rather than on themselves, then yes, then I believe it will be considered as made for kids. And of course, who doesn't like to watch videos of cute animals? So as a general rule of thumb, according to the FTC, your adult activities will be your usual everyday things like employment, finances, politics, home improvement, home ownership and travel. And any child activities will be things like children's toys, online dress-up games, nursery rhymes, preschool education, cartoons and games and pastimes. And these lists are not inclusive of everything, there may be other things on here too. So some other important things to look out for when you are making your selection on whether your channel or video is made for kids is first of all your about section. Does it specifically mention that the channel is made for kids or for kids activities? Your tags and title and description of the video, does it mention any kid elements? Are any videos being shared on blogs or social media sites for parents with young children? And just doing a general survey of the audience who regularly visit your channel, are you able to determine the age group? So these are some of the features you will no longer see on videos that are marked as made for kids. There will no longer be a comment section. There will no longer be subscriber counts. All likes and dislikes will disappear. And more importantly, there will be no personalized ads placed on these videos. 
So what happens if you don't comply? YouTube will most likely suspend your account and remove your videos, on top of which you may face any penalties from the FTC, anything up to the amount of 42530 per violation. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. Please don't forget to give it a like, hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell for more reviews, tips and tricks.